G'day, this is Simon the Brackets here at an insanely busy South Ocean Cars and Coffee. We are overflowing the main lot, the overflow lot, and then all the way back out to Blaze Pizza. We are full and overflowing. Great turnout of some really, really cool cars and some motorcycles that are really exceptional today as well. Let's swing the camera around and go for a walk. Front row, not one of uh, James's or my cars in the first park this week. Mine's in pieces still, and James is off on the Gold Rush Rally uh, with Jace from Next Level uh, Detailing, having a good time. So, it's got a couple of Lambos through here. Actually, three of them in a row. Isn't that nice? Very cool. Um, Jay's 4GT. Look at that center, isn't that beautiful? What a great car, lovely. Uh, next to it, this brand new uh, 4GT in that uh, golf paint job. Isn't that spectacular? Really, really nice. Another Lambo and another 4 GT, and then we have an R8 next to a F430 next to Tony's beauty, uh, beautiful 650 Le Mans. Very rare car, one of seven in the US, I believe. Uh, Paul's 360, uh, 488, a uh, carbon fiber. Actually, it all looks carbon fiber. It's not a wrap, believe it or not. This is all carbon fiber, this thing. Absolutely incredible. R35. NSX onto a uh, very pretty new Aston Martin. Another McLaren there. Another Aston. Lambo. Cobra replica. A uh, McLaren. A C8 Corvette. Lambo. AMG. Well, that's interesting. Interesting wrap. Colourful, huh? Amazing. GT3 RS R8 Spider Porsche and then another Porsche down here. BMW i8. I'm not sure if I like them or not, but they're interesting, that's for sure. Uh, isn't this beautiful? The little skyline. This is where it all sort of began for these guys. That inline six and those uh, side draft Rolex on this thing. It's just a beautiful car. I mean, it's interesting because back in when this thing came out, a lot of people still didn't respect Japanese cars uh, the way that they should have, the, the, how well they were built. And now the test of time has proven that these things are, you know, obviously this has got a lot of after, aftermarket stuff, but an amazing car even for their day. Uh, next to it, really nice looking Lambo, couple of them actually. Really like this blue, that looks great, doesn't it? And roll Lambos in different colours through there, that's kind of cool. And then rolling through here, we have a uh, Gary's 458. Uh, Italia and then Pisa, that's very nice. And then, uh, hey, this is what we don't want you to do. This guy in this uh, R8's coming here. Look, he's parked in the middle of two parks and then even the guy on the Pisa next to him is actually parked on the line. That doesn't help us when we've got a limited amount of parks. So please make sure if you're gonna come to the show, don't take up two parks, otherwise we can only fit half a number of cars. Uh, previous car of the week winner here, which is a uh, really, really cool little car. Stephen's car, go back and check this thing out. Great story behind it. So we're a lot later than normal just because it's been so busy this morning. Uh, so there's a lot of cars starting to leave, but uh, John's Alfred, really nice little Ferrari there. NSX, Roberts, Whipple Charge, Mustang, Chevelle, really cute little MG Mark II there. Next to another one, two of them side by side, that's cool. Little uh, Datsun, uh, I think they were called a Sunny here in Australia, they were called a 120Y. Uh, little Cobra, very nice. And next to another one for the guys from Super Performance, Lance and the team, nice looking Ford there, R8. Something that I wish they still made more of. Station wagons, cute little BMW there. Everyone's moved. You do an awesome job. I appreciate you saying that. Thank you so much. A uh, GT500, they're a tough car. Porsche, how one of our volunteers, cute little Fiat microbus. That thing sits six, six people, believe it or not. Uh, one of my favorite cars here. This one is beautiful, uh, 69 Z28 leaving us there. Houndstooth interior, that 302 that they were known for. Really, really nice. Love it. Absolutely love it. Next to it, Jeep Gladiator. And then another one next to it there. Volkswagen bus. This is Volkswagen Alley this week. Check them all out through here. So good to see all through here. There's Volkswagen buses and then Beetle there. And then next to it, now we move into the cousin of Volkswagen. A couple of Porsches there. BMW uh, M6. Uh, nice little Porsche. Two of them side by side. 991 target uh, to my friends Darren and Tony. Uh, Darren in particular has a particular taste. We would all say this is very much a DK mobile. That red interior in there looks amazing. His sort of car, cute little Porsche there. Uh, this is cute, isn't it? A Lotus Elan, great little car. A uh, 
a C7 ZR1. Great little beetle there, just slammed in the weeds. Yeah. Bronco, very nice. Uh, F150 Ranchero, classic little mini. A couple of them side by side. These particular cars, good morning. Quick little cars. Um, check this out. It's a little Austin Healy. Somebody slammed the windscreen back on this. Done a really nice job. Really cool. Looks awesome. We got a uh, R32 leaving us there. One of our regulars in his uh, beautiful Chevy truck. LS transplanted it. Bonneville station wagon. Very cool. Prowler. Really nice looking uh, Chevy truck with an LS transplant in it. A uh, Baja truck there. Audi station wagon, Nissan. Uh, Dane's very, very nice uh, Chevy SS, AKA uh, Holden Commodore. Great engine, it got, this thing's got actually got an LSX in it, worth checking out, car of the week previously. All the, uh, the Commodores slash SS is lined up there. Infinity, a couple of those side by side. Mercedes. Supra, Cobra, and then a uh, Z06, and then just with a few cars leaving us there, Mustang, Nissan, and then uh, this uh, really cool wrapped uh, CTS, well, Hunter, one of our regulars. Beautiful 68 there, car of the week winner previously as well. Falcon, uh, yeah, good morning, Chevelle, Chevelle. Good morning, gentlemen. All behaving yourself? No. No, of course not. Why would you? MGB. Alfa Romeo, great looking lift kit on that Jeep. Toyota lifted up as well. Hey, here's a cool GMC delivery van for sale if you want a cool cruiser. 31 Chrysler, great looking car. Good morning. Beautiful looking Corvette there. Another Corvette there. 458 Italia, a uh, UC8 Porsche. Corvette with a big block in it, another Corvette there. Nice looking black 57. Good morning, folks. Nissan. Cadillac next to a Subaru, next to a Viper sitting up here. Corvette. Great big old Lexus there. BMW. Honda. Subi. Uh, not sure what that is. Toyota, yep. Yeah. BMW. Uh, GTI, GTI, and just for something different, another GTI. 69 Camaro there. Nice to see it with a big block, and a lot of guys put LS transplants in them these days. I'm still a sucker for the big blocks. Uh, Mustang, great condition. Lamborghini, rolling through. We have a Cadillac next to another Cadillac, and then a uh, Gen 6, Gen 5, sorry, Gen 5, SS Camaro. Uh, Power Wagon by Dodge, isn't that great? And another bit of Mopar muscle just sitting next to it. We got a Cougar sitting there, rolling through to a uh, Bronco, Falcon, Corvette, another Corvette, a few, uh, another Falcon there, another nice little Corvette there, Barracuda, good enough for Hart to sing a song about it, uh, Mustang, very nice, beautiful 56 Chevy, this came in earlier, sounds good too, love this thing. A uh, couple of them actually side by side got a real soft spot for these things. This is what I learned to drive in. Uh, what I love seeing about this is the uh, engine. Notice that a lot of guys will transplant and put uh, 350s or whatever in it, but I love the fact that that's actually got an inline six in it, which is what these things came out with. So, yeah, little seven year old Simon driving around on our family farm. My dad ended up having two or three of these things, and I, that's what I learned to drive in. And got a real soft spot for them. Another one leaving us there. They still smell the same as they did all those years ago. I'll get jump into things and smell of it. Noisy Cobra there. Little uh, Volkswagen beach buggy there. Um, this is going to be our car of the week. Um, this is really cool. It's actually an Australian built Chrysler, not the original engine, of course. Don't want to give away too much, but great story behind it. We're going to come back and make this car of the week. Nice little 74 MGB. Corvette Grand Sport. Another Corvette there, isn't that a nice green? It reminds me of the rally green that the uh, 68 uh, and 9 Camaros came out in. Mustang, Corvette, some of the colours. 427 in that uh, Cobra, nice uh, red interior in that thing. Uh, Grand Sport, grey looking uh, Chevy pickup there. Isn't that nice Dodge? Boss Mustang, rolling through British Racing Green MGB. That's the Exactly the right colour for these things. Little uh, two little SUs on that thing, twin SUs. 
427 in that Cobra and then another one, 427 in this Cobra. Got a couple of Hellcats side by side, Challenger or Charger and Challenger, uh, new Supra. Of course, sharing a lot of stuff with the new Z4 Ford Ranger in there. Interesting little uh, Nissan here. Um, somebody's resto modding this thing, obviously. Actually, it's got the original engine in though, which is kind of cool. Once again, notice those twin SUs on that, same as what they're doing. Keep in mind that Nissan was trying to replicate the success of the British uh, sports cars like the MG when they built these. So good to see another Z car there. Something a bit newer there, 370 uh, A4. And then interesting, a couple of uh, cool looking campers here, aren't they great? That one, and then uh, here we got a Jeep here. Check out the exotics rolling in now. We've got a, a Lambo, there's McLaren up there. A uh, Porsche, another McLaren, crazy. Here's the front of this uh, uh, Raptor that's been done up into this uh, camping thing. Unfortunately, it takes up two parks, which I'm not real happy about when we've been so busy. It's okay now, we've emptied out, but. Uh, Toyota, great looking yellow Ford truck there. Love that, really cool. That's a nice truck though. Thank you. Appreciate Rolling through, Mount Master, another Master there. Toyota, little Toyota there, and then a Miata. And then uh, rolling through Ferrari, you know, not the most popular Ferrari around, but it's still a Ferrari after all. Four seater as well, although you'd have to have your legs amputated to fit in the back, I think. A uh, little BMW, then to a uh, little AMG. Nice paint work on that. Look, look at the uh, the sun is just bringing out that metal flake on this. Uh, it's really pretty, really nice. And then a great little classic BMW here. Classic old Mustang here, 289, really neat and clean. Rolling through to a 67 Camaro. You know how to tell the difference at a glance between a 67 and 68? 67 has those little corner windows and it doesn't have side markers, whereas a 68 has no corner windows, but it does have side markers. So if you want a super clean Camaro, you build a 67, there's no side markers with 68 doors on it. There, there, there you go, you heard it first from me. Pretty 57 delivery there. Uh, running a big block, which is nice, good to see. Mazda RX-7, sad they killed off the rotary because couldn't hit the emission numbers they needed to. A uh, couple of Jeeps, very lifted, bead locks on them, nice. C7 Corvette, oh look at this Corvette next to it. 427 in that, very cool. R35, two of them actually side by side. Got a uh, Gladiator there with a riff off. Audi, BMW and then a GTI. I'm just gonna swing straight around the other side here. Got a BMW living us there, range and truck. And then uh, Ford, Sylvia, GTR, great seeing those classic GTRs here. A uh, early NSX, a few of them through here. Early Supra, great car, that was such such underrated cars, so much power capable. C, uh, sorry, Gen 5 Camaro, Mustang, rolling through. Another Corvette sitting here for sale. Lexus, a, uh, Dodge, Corvette, Mercedes, a couple of them in a row, then a uh, BMW, BMW, uh, a couple of Hyundais here, and then uh, rolling through further. I have no idea what this is. Somebody's delivering stuff by the look. Might be for the uh, movie theater they do here at night. That's uh, Hellcat, next to a little BMW, another one. Another one, another station wagon, great to see. Lexus, interesting motor in that thing. Subaru, Honda, little uh, Nissan 240SX there. Leaving us a uh, Golf Type R, Mustang, Audi TT, really pretty blue on that thing. BMW, super long uh, Ford truck there. Look at this gorgeous old Dodge, isn't that great? Uh, GT350 sitting there. No, it's nice. Little uh, Porsche. Should really be parked there, but. Great looking little uh, Volkswagen. A lot of work done under the hood of that thing. Um, there's that F350 massive. Porsche. Old uh, Land Cruiser. I think it's an 80 series. Uh, Lotus. GTI. Gen 6 Camaro. Scion FRS Porsche Nissan Mustang 
good to see this again. This is a uh, Subaru that somebody seriously takes off road. Love it. Honda, little Mazda. Okay, really interesting. So this is a, an RX-8. And what they've got there is a, one of the, um, it's one of the rotors out of a rotary engine. Um, really interesting. So rather than having uh, pistons go up and down, that triangle rotates in the engine and there, is, there are three firing areas around the outside. You can actually see the, the spark, well, should I say spark plugs on one side, then you've got an exhaust area and an intake area. Um, really interesting. The thing that happens is you can see why they're unre unreliable. See that little circle with a line out of it? There's a seal. Think of it the same as a normal piston ring. The problem is it actually wears out and that's why these things are known for using oil uh, with not a lot of miles on them. But they rev like no other engine around and sound like no other engine around too. So good to see. So typically you'll see uh, twin or triple uh, rot uh, rotary engines that, uh, on them. GTI, and by the way, Master's not the only company who actually did uh, rotaries. Subi, Subi's in a row, three of them there, S2000. Shelby Raptor, 525 horsepower badge on that. I guess that means it's got a V8 in it. Great looking old Cadillac there. Uh, Gen 6 Camaro. Little Ford. Mustang. Nice looking Porsche down here. <laughs> this is very cool. Very nice. Uh, and then uh, down here, BM BMW, just got to swing around. You can see we actually filled up right down to the end as well. We got a uh, Bronco there. Nice looking GT3 there. Same colour as my friend Pete's car. Very nice colour. Uh, NSX. That was such a great car, weren't they? Rolling through here. Little uh, Nissan Honda. Honda, actually. That might be a Honda, actually. Uh, little Z car there. Mustang. Rolling through to a little uh, Ford. And then a uh, Honda. Honda. And then. Uh, okay. A um, few boat pass through here. BMW. And then uh, another BMW, Mitsubishi, Subaru, Land Cruiser, a couple of serious off-roading Toyotas there, you can see, uh, a little Honda, another one there, BMW, and then a row of BMWs up through here. Got some cool cars on the front, a uh, little BMW, uh, old classic old Mercedes there, really nice AMG. Mustang, another Mustang there. This is a car of the week winner last week, GT 350H. Uh, Volkswagen bus, how cool is this? Roadrunner Superbird. Isn't that great? Love those Goodyear wheels on it, looks awesome. Really, really nicely done. A uh, Gen 5 Camaro, and then a uh, Victor. Good morning, good to see you. This beautiful, beautiful uh, Woody. Packard there and then the Thunderbird down here isn't that nice black and white Thunderbird so I walked past this and said this is a replica you probably saw me in the video before this got waved through into the main Porsche era at Monterey apparently it is a replica but the guy has put so much attention to detail into it apparently what I heard was he actually got somebody from Disney to paint the patina on this to make it look the age that it is so I mean, it's not surprising that people are fooled into thinking this is the real deal. It has a Porsche engine in it. It's all authentic. It is probably the best replica of anything I've ever seen and certainly worth a mention. So what a great little car. Thank you to the owner for bringing it out. So we're not going to have time to do the rest of the overflow lot, but just have a look at the number of people and the number of cars. And then we actually overflow even further down uh, towards uh, Blaze Pizza. So it's absolutely crazy. A couple of motorcycles in here, uh, Suzuki, uh, Thruxton, big fan, big fan of the Thruxton, love that, uh, and then a Yamaha here, and uh, Harley, I believe, and then a little Honda. This is nice, isn't it, Triumph Speedmaster, that'll be a uh, great bike for my uh, wife, Sarah. Uh, Suzuki, and uh, not sure what that is, sorry, um, Ninja, BMW, oh, I love this, we looked at this last week, beautiful looking uh, cafe racer turn this BMW into. Uh, rolling through still, and couple, an Indian, there was a couple of them earlier, uh, Scrambler, Ducati Scrambler, they're a really nice motorcycle. Uh, Harley, Harley, K2000, 
Kawasaki classic motorcycle there, a little uh, scooter. A really nice looking motor goes here. I love this bike. This is yours. Yes, yes. it's a great, great motorcycle. Yeah, thank you. Um, we had another one here that was uh, this gentleman's uh, a few months ago. Beautiful motorcycle. Uh, big fan. Big fan. Really nice. Harley Davidson. Uh, then a little uh, scooter again, and then uh, BMW S1000 Ducati, uh, and then uh, Harley. Uh, Tom's uh, R1200 RT, he let me ride this thing this morning. Love it, absolutely love it. And then next to it, another BMW. So that's it for another week of South OC Cars and Coffee. As you can see, the crowd's leaving, uh, thinning out. What a great morning. It was absolutely packed. A big thank you to the outlets of San Clemente for allowing us to be here. We really appreciate it. And a big reminder for, to everybody to please, please, please follow our rules. Do not arrive before 8.30. Keep the noise down as you're entering and leaving. We don't want to upset the neighbours, okay? And we don't want to name and shame people and ban them from the event. It's the last thing that we want to do. Big thank you to Ruby's and Rockwell's bringing out the coffee, the donuts, as usual. Starbucks for working so hard to keep the coffee going. And of course, our sponsors, Meguiar's, Next Level Detail, and Chick-fil-A here in San Clemente. Make sure to go and support those guys as well. Also, just a note, the Sheriff's Department now has an office right here at the outlet looking out over South OC Cars and Coffee. So if you are here and you are misbehaving, there's a highly likely chance that they're going to step out and give you a ticket. So make sure to remember that the Sheriff is actually stationed here. There's a lot of them getting around all of the time. Uh, big, big, biggest thank you to all of our volunteers, to our photographers. I've got one standing over here now, Robert, who's just here, and to Jay as well, and all of our other people who helped make the show run smoothly. Big thank you to all of you. We could not do it without you, and we really appreciate you. Have a great week. We'll see you back here next week for another South OC Cars and Coffee.